And we are back with another episode of Commercial Roofing Radio. And we got a, a playmaker in, in the house. We got Steve Bowden with HD Roofing and Construction. My boy, how we doing, Steve? What's going on? Doing good, man. How you doing, Nick? Hey, living the dream, man. <laughs> And, you know, for, for those out yeah. there, uh, if you don't know, you know, we, we do uh, lead generation services, of course. And we've been working with, with Steve for for a while. And he has been an awesome customer. And he's crushing it. But the reason why yes. he's crushing it is because the dude can sell. Right. And, and, and so we're going to we're going to run through that stuff. And we're, we're going to talk about some different tips some different approaches and stuff like that. So if you, if you got your pen and paper ready, uh, start taking your notes. All right. Because we're about to go to closer school over here with Steve. What do you think, Steve? Hey, let's do it. <laughs> right. Oh, man. All right. So for you guys, like, uh, so Steve, he, he works for AC Roofing Construction and, and, and he's in sales. And he is an absolute rock star. So they're out in Florida, uh, and he's killing it, right? So, do you mind how much if I if I say how much you closed last year? Uh, yeah, go ahead, man. Yeah, so he he closed six million last year, man, and he's at four right now, and he's really, really, really crushing it, man. So. Were you were you always in, in sales? Did you kind of have a, a knack for, for for just the kind of being in sales? Well, well, when I was born, my parents were commercial roofing contractors, so I started shingling and roofing at a young age, and then I ran crews for many many years, and then finally I was like, "There's got to be an easier way to do this," so. I started selling, you know, in my late twenties, early thirties, and and uh, never looked back. So you actually you grew up you grew up in the roofing space. I did, I did. Yeah, all right. And was I that did. was you you were born in in Portland? So were, was that Portland, in Oregon. Portland? Was that in Portland? Yeah, yeah. It was okay. all over from like Seattle to Portland. And, uh, you know, over to Boise, we had a pretty big service area. Okay. Yeah, right now, because I, I used to actually live in Portland. So after I graduated school, moved out to Portland, I was working for, for Milwaukee Tool out there. So what what, what brought you to, oh, yeah. uh, to to Florida then? Was, was it looking for some sunshine? Because, I mean, uh, I know how it is in or Portland, man. It's like, was it September to like almost May? You're, you're not seeing the sunshine, it feels like. Yeah, it, it rains eight months out of 12, mm -hmm. basically. And yeah, we just, you know, my wife and I just, we just ended up moving down here. It was sick of the rain, you know. Yep. You know, <laughs> left, yeah, left a really, really good job and and just, we just did it. So were, were you in roofing then? Like right when you were, you were tra coming over to Florida? That is, so you had a good job in yeah. roofing? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it worked for uh, some big companies over there. Mm -hmm. So you know, if if, yeah. you're, if you're a sales guy, right? We we got people that are listening. It could be business owners, salespeople, market. You name it. People listening in, in this construction roofing world. You know, if you're looking for a company to to join, right? Because I feel like that's kind of your, your badge of honor, especially in sales. Uh, yeah. What suggestions do you have for, for salespeople out there looking for a company to join? To, uh, for a company to join? Mm -hmm. Well, they they well, it just depends on you know if it's commercial roofing, you got to it, it. There's there's a lot of them you probably don't want to work for. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know. So when I came here. And I did, you know, went in and talked to people, did interviews and stuff. I actually was interviewing them. You know, that's really the way it was. I went in, I I interviewed them, and and, and so that's why I I stuck with HD. Is uh, man, this is a really good company, 
and you could just make stupid amount of money here. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, it's like more than CEOs and doctors and stuff like that. I think that's you know? something that people don't completely comprehend what you just said there. Cause that's, it's a big statement and it, it's completely true to, to get to that point. You know, what are kind of expectations it, it, someone's it, getting it, into it? It's took me years. It, it's took me years to get where I'm at, but, um, I do have a big book of business and my phone blows up all day long, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and it's just, you know, being good at your job, man, you've got to be a good salesman. People has to like you, they have to trust you. And once they do, they don't really call too many other people. Mm-hmm. And, you know? and just let you get, just let you guys know out there, there's, there's some background noise. Steve's out in Florida. I thought we were having some static. It is coming down. What, so you're getting oh, some yeah. storms out in Florida right time. now. It's coming down big, man. I'm sure you guys get some yes, wild man. weather out there. Um, so, Wait, yeah. Yes. Wait, so, no. so it, it, it takes some time to, big, to, to, to obviously build your book of business, right? You, you're, you are really yeah. good at what you do. So you, you have to build up your craft, continue to, to develop. Now, for, for you, yeah. how do you kind of operate your position like almost like your, your own business? Uh, like when you get a lead, are you trying to build rapport there and thinking long term? How do you kind of yeah. handle that? Well, it, it, it basically, you know, you are the person that they're, they're buying from. It's not really so much the company as it really is they're buying from you. So the trust has to be there and you just got to know people. It, mm-hmm. Once you get that down, it's simple. Hey, Simple. You, you, your network, <laughs> your network is your net worth, they say, right? Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cause um, you know, you're only as good as your word is. Mm-hmm. So never promise anything you cannot deliver. Yep. You got to execute. Know. You got to execute. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. See the problems before they get there. So it, has it kind of got so to the get, point? You guys. Well, go ahead. You, you, uh, your guys, uh, you, you've been a huge help. You've got me in front of so many people. It's, it's amazing. Mm-hmm. It's amazing. The people that you've got me in touch with and, and, uh, you, you guys are relentless. A lot of them will say that too, that you, you got, uh, they're like, man, I had to call you. I, I, I mean, I had to give you guys a try. You guys I, I, I are relentless, I, and, and they loved it. Mm-hmm. Now, wh- why do you think oh, that's a great – You know, first off, I, I appreciate it, and but the reason why I wanted to have you on here is because you execute. You're really good at your craft, so you maximize those opportunities and are, and are able to, to cash in on that. But I think a lot of people are too afraid of, of being – and like consistent, uh, contact with people, following up with people, uh, and, you know, all this stuff to, to, until you get some sort of response from the person. What, what, what's your thoughts on that? How can they kind of break through that? Because if you're not following up, if, if you're not consistent, the, yeah, you have you're going to have some problems because they do appreciate that. They do appreciate that. They, they absolutely do. They, they do. <clears throat> I, I've got jobs, uh, you know, where, you know, I bid, you know, against three to five other roofers and uh, I ended up getting it even being more expensive because I was the only one that actually called them back to talk to them. And that's, even that's to that. true. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I completely agree. That, yeah, that, that's a, a big it, point right there is, is if, if the customer's main concern is lack of communication with, with contractors, if you're overdoing it, they're going to be loving it. They're going to be loving it. That's exactly what yeah. they're looking for. Because one of their sore points is yeah. contractor communication, you know, leaving me hanging, not really understanding where the project, all this kind of stuff. You nip that in the butt and they actually really appreciate that because that means that you're going to be able, they're going to be able to count on you. 
Yes. And, and, and the biggest thing is if they call, answer the phone. You know, because a lot, a, a lot of the, a, a lot of guys, a lot of companies that I work with, you know, they they'll push off not calling them back or anything. I don't do that. I either answer the phone or when I'm off the phone, I call them right back mm-hmm. all the time, even if it's you know not so good news. <laughs> mm-hmm. Those are the phone calls that are that are hard to, to pick up. You got to you got nip in the butt though. Yep, you do, you do, and, and you know, because I mean, it's construction, man. Some stuff's gonna go south on you. You just gotta fix it, man. There's, uh, there's no perfect word here. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I gotta ask you. So you, you have, you know, you have, you have a big personality, right? You, you're, uh, you know, a, I would say a fun time, right? Like I think. You know, you're probably one of the, our few, you know, clients that, you know, has a, is an ongoing text group with, you know, Chris and Johnny just hanging out with the boys or whatever. So you can yeah. tell you got a, you got a big personality. Yeah. Do, do you use that in, yeah. in your sales presentations or what kind of approach? Absolutely. Yep. And, and, and uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that really does help once you get to know you customers they all know they they see my they they always love it when i pull up and uh and they can see my fjb baseball cap on the on the you know on the <laughs> dash of my truck <laughs> that'll break so you, the ice better than anything. so you're just you when you're out there and if the customer likes it perfect if not hey you're being genuine yep. maybe just just not the, the right fit exactly mm-hmm. exactly <laughs> it, you know but <laughs> let's go brandon <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I love it. See, hey, that's why hey, I respect it, man. You know, anybody who's their authentic self, those are the kind of people that I want to work with, man, dude. That, that's that's always a, a good time, right? I'm here to, you know, get work done, but also enjoy myself. So my question is, 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 is how do you, how do you go about, how do you go about your day then? Do you kind of have a routine that you do? Because, you know, I, I was in outside sales for, for a while and, you know, I had a territory where it'd be, you know, a city. I had it where it'd be, you know, Northern California. Uh, and, and what I realized is, is, is how you spend your time is so, so crucial, especially when you're going for, you know, spending a lot of windshield time. So what, what does your day look like? Yes. Well, my, well, what I do is, uh, uh, you know, every evening I basically, I write out a schedule for my next day. Mm-hmm. So I know what I'm going to be doing from, you know, say eight to nine, nine to 10, whatever. It's all, I, I make a schedule for myself. And, and, sorry about that. But, uh, so, but uh, I make a schedule, you know, every night. And that's what I do, you know. And then I follow that schedule every day. And because if I don't do that, I'm kind of a mess. Mm-hmm. You know, stuff just doesn't work out correctly, and uh, that's super huge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I completely so, agree. Routine, routine mm-hmm. is big. You're, are you blowing up? Are you getting some clients over there, or what? Is everyone yeah, wanting some I'm, some action with Steve? I turned it off. Yeah, oh, no, I'm messing is, with you. I'm, I was hoping it was because you said your phone's always going off, so I was job. hoping it was. No, it, it, yeah, it's a huge job, and that's actually a big major plus right there because that mm-hmm. he called back because. <laughs> So he has some questions. It's bad. <laughs> ah, I like it. I like it, man. Uh, you know, so what tips yeah. do you have for, for, for someone getting into uh, commercial roofing that might be newer to this space? Commercial, oh, man, it, it, it's not it's not that freaking easy to do. <laughs> mm-hmm. But um, so basically, basically, uh, you know, if they're just getting into it and stuff. They, they need you guys, really. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? They need you guys to get them I appreciate in front that. of people because you, you can go and, and go into big buildings, you know, property management companies, 
and you're never going to talk to the person that you need to. Like, yeah, you're just not, you know what I mean? You might get lucky once in a while, you know, when they hand your card over to them or something. But 90% of the time, you're not going to get in front of them, mm-hmm. you know, no, the right person anyway. But but you, uh, with you guys, man, you, you guys have helped a, a lot of that, you know. I mean, it's unbelievable some of the jobs that you guys got me in front of. I was like, oh. Shit, these are like block long and stuff. You know, oh, really... <laughs> dude. I think we got you. Do you we know, get you? Do we get like... you IKEA too? Do we get IKEA or Disney? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Work on IKEA and now, uh, and now that that main guy, he's actually he, he's sending my name out to a bunch of uh, other IKEAs all over um, in oh, the state man. of Florida. So, oh man so what, what, what about for, for 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 goal setting i'm curious so you've been doing this for for quite some time right you crushed it last year you get six million you know how are you goal setting like you know i guess what kind of motivates you because I, I was talking to chris and johnny and and they said you just like to work yeah you're just a workhorse or or what, what yeah, gets you going well uh, well you know because my wife she works five, six days a week, and he's usually traveling all over the States. And so if she's working, I work. Because mm-hmm. I'll end up just, you know, I end up getting in trouble anyway. So I just <laughs> work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it seems it seems uh, like... Uh, it, yeah. It's, it seems like, so your wife, she's, she's pretty impressive, it seems like. seems like she's got an impressive career, too. She's an executive at Planet Fitness. Yeah, uh, well, at, at, at Impact Fitness. Oh, at Impact. And, and they own they own a bunch of uh, uh, of Planet Fitnesses. She's in she's in uh, Vegas right now uh, until Thursday. They're having the Planet Fitness is having a big thing there, get together, and so that's where she's at. All right, oh man, that's cool. Right so you, you got you got two. You yeah. got a couple that that just loves that loves to grind and make it happen. Um, I was, yeah, yeah. I, I, I was going to ask you too. So what, what were some things you, I mean, you're just seeing, obviously it's been some interesting times, right? You get, you get COVID things start getting shut down you get supply issues. You got, you know, the economy, all this stuff like that, whatnot. Yeah. But when you're just looking in, you know, in the industry or whatnot, is anything standing out to you, you know, this year or last year that's just been different than, you know, things that you've seen in the past? Yeah, like 2020 was an amazing year um, for sales. Um, we, I think we, our company grew like almost 500% in 2020 wow. when everything was shut down and everything. Yeah, I mean, we, it was crazy, crazy. I did really, really good the last few years, really super good. What do you, what do you think caused that? Now, now, uh, well, uh, I think uh, a lot of people just being stuck where they were and they were thinking, well, maybe I should, you know, do some stuff while I'm, uh, you know, uh, you know, on their, Mm -hmm. on their houses, on their buildings, on whatever. But it was, it turned out super awesome. I heard a lot of people crying that, oh my gosh. 2020 was so horrible. It was fantastic for us. <laughs> That's awesome. Fantastic. Got to yeah. find the opportunities. And, yeah, and 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 then for big commercial jobs like I board and stuff, it was real hard to get there for a while. And so, pretty much, the materials are starting to come back around. Not not too bad. Everything's went up super expensive. But the hardest thing to get a hold of now are screws and screws for plates for you know tpo and iso board it's screws that are you know some of them that are really <laughs> get diff- difficult to get you know a hold of while you're you know for huge jobs mm-hmm. <clears throat> are, you know, are able to get some here, some here. are uh but, property yeah. owners and stuff are they looking for cheaper alternatives like coatings and stuff like that or you're not hearing too much of that 
Well, they are. They they are some of them, but some of them are you know kind of not even codable. You know, mm-hmm. we have a lot of uh, you know hot tar and gravel down here. Oh yeah, too, sure. and you don't really help that and stuff. Mm-hmm. But you know, and usually there are two roofs up there, and so I always talk them into getting rid of it. I have done a bunch of coatings so lately. Um, you know, they were it, they were the right candidate and stuff. Mm-hmm. You know, I sold a couple of uh, uh, Popeye's chicken last week. Let's go. <laughs> one, of, one of them, one of them uh, has a roof that, uh, from 2019 and uh, TPO, and so we put TPO up there with chicken grease. No and way. It just yeah. Yeah, crazy. They should have used PDC, but yeah. Yeah, but you know, it, like I tell them, you know, if you think hiring, hiring a quality roofer is expensive, wait until you hire a crappy one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it probably just takes one poor experience, I bet, for them to be like, all right, I'm never going to try to be cheap on, on something like this again. <laughs> mm-hmm. <Yep. laughs> I love it, man. Pretty sad, well, cool. but it is. Yeah. It is. You see some mistakes out there that you're like, "Oof." Um, it's amazing. Well, cool, man. So I got I got a little game for us to kind of to kind of close things out here. And then after the game, what we got is uh, I let you close it out with some kind of advice at the end. So it could be, you know, sales yeah. advice, business advice. It could be a quote, a book suggestion. Really, all you know, it doesn't matter. But what what we got here is we got who wants to uh, be a roofing millionaire? All right. Now the questions are actually more about you and, and things that you like or you know the area you live in more than more than roofing. But you get you get two lifelines. All right. The first one is going to be a fifty fifty. So if you use that lifeline, it'll, it'll remove two of the wrong answers, leaving you with a fifty percent chance of getting it right. Uh, and then you okay. also have. Fo- phone a friend so you can call one person and if they don't pick up you lose the lifeline sound good okay all right let's Let's do do this let's play who wants to be a roofing millionaire okay so first question three of the four things below portland is known for having the most of more than any other u.s city which one does do they not have the most of? Is it A? Do they not have the most of? But yes. Okay. So, so three of the answers they do have the okay. most of, and one of them is not part of that group. Is it A, coffee shops? B, strip clubs? C, bike shops? Or D, breweries? Well, they have all of that stuff. <laughs> they do have all Strip that clubs stuff. And a lot. And they, a lot. And they have a lot of breweries. And a lot of people ride bicycles there. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it's, a t- it's a tough one. It's a tough one. It is. That is. I haven't lived there in quite a while, but yeah. But they still have it. Hey, yeah, I, lived there. I lived there, you know, I think six years ago, seven years ago. They, they, they have it all. They have yeah. it all. They have everything there. Yeah, it just turned to a political nightmare. Mm. <laughs> and so now you're hanging out. You're hanging out in Florida. You're hanging out in Florida now. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty awesome. I love it here. So what are you thinking? Love you got to go with something. All right. I'm thinking A. That's right. A is the correct. First He's off to a hot start. Let's yeah. go. Like I yeah. said, that's almost a trick question because they, they got all those things, but they have the most breweries, the most yeah. bike shops, and the most strip clubs. All right. Strip the clubs. Next... Yeah. <laughs> all right. The, the next question I, is. I just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. All right. So, what year was HD Roofing founded? Was it A, 2018, B, 
2019, C, 2017, or D, 2015? Well, I believe it was 17. 2007. Dang, this guy's good at trivia. That is correct. He is two yeah. for two. Yeah. All right, man. You're, you're and, really good at this. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> All right. All right. We we got uh we got a Orlando question now. So HD Roofing was voted number one roofing company in Orlando by Best of Orlando. What do you think is the yeah. tallest building in the city of Orlando? Is it A, SunTrust, B, Hyatt Regency, C, Bank of America, or D, 55 West Apartments? I think Trusco. Dang. Man, you're hot. Three for three. Let's go, Steve. I'm impressed, my man. Let's go, dude. All right. I like it. I like it. And just so you know, I don't think anybody's ever gotten all of them right. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> so we got some pressure. We got two more oh. questions. He's three for three. I love it. All right. All right. So all right. one of the places that I, I didn't mention, but you, you lived in San Diego as well, which is another great spot i think that's my yeah. one of my favorite vacation spots yeah, actually oh really yeah. yeah dude you can't beat that there man that's right yeah oh my god it was pretty yeah. cool yeah that was a long uh, time ago though, too so yeah true all right well the, the the question is is about san diego so which fast food restaurant originated there is it a in and out B, White Castle, C, Burger King, or D, Jack in the Box? Okay, say that again. What was the first tip? Yeah, uh, it was In N Out, White Castle, Burger King, and Jack in the Box. Okay, so it would be, it would be, uh, I think it's White Castle. Do you want to use a lifeline, or, or is that your final answer? It's either in and out or White Castle. So Wait, uh, let's go with White Castle. We're going with White Castle? I think I jinxed yeah. you. Unfortunately, it's Jack in the Box, man. Jack in the Box. You were no, on a I hot street there. And Jack in the Box, man. So next time you see a Jack in the Box, you're going to be looking at it a little bit differently. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He lives. <laughs> All right, we got we got one more question. We're just gonna hit you with the last question, and then we'll let you close it out here. Okay. Uh, so, right. I heard you're a big fan of fireworks. So, this question is: is how much does Disney Parks spend on fireworks yearly for all their theme parks? Is it a five million dollars? B fifty million dollars? C twenty million dollars? Or D a hundred million dollars for all of them mm -hmm. for all the theme parks i think it'd have to be a hundred million unfortunately it's b 50 million still that is a lot of fireworks man that is a lot of fireworks yeah, that's a lot. so yeah. hey so steve yeah. i i I appreciate you hanging out. I appreciate you playing the game and whatnot, but it's now your time to kind of close us out here uh, and, and, and finish the episode. So, yeah, I just, uh, I, I really appreciated your guys' help. Um, it's amazing, uh, you know, how many people you guys have gotten me in front of, um, how much money, uh, that I've been able to make off of, you know, eh, something that I could just write off anyway. It's freaking amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. So <laughs> if I get, if I can say anything about you guys is especially someone that wants that, that wants to come into commercial roofing, you uh, honestly 
give these guys a try, man. I promise you. If you're a good salesman, you will kill it. Mm, let's kill go. It. And that's what Steve is, and that's why he's been Great crushing job. it, man. I really appreciate you hanging yep. out. I appreciate you, you know, as a client as well as a friend. So, hey, thanks yes. for stopping by and hanging out.